Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups, we have the Page of Cups, and we have the Ace of Swords. So the Five of Cups, we see this hooded, well not this hooded figure, but this figure with a cape standing and looking at the cups that have spilled. Does not see the, the two cups that are full behind him. This is a card of regret. This is a card of disappointment. This is a card of, of being unable to shake it. And it's, uh, it's hanging around. It's on your mind. So if something didn't work out the way that you had hoped that it would, you may feel disappointed. If you have a uh, someone you've been dating that hasn't uh, quite lived up to what you expected, you may feel disappointed, you may feel let down. With respect to jobs or families, here's this just this is a card where you know your head is down and you feel down. And you are focused on what is lost instead of thinking about what you may still have. It's a card of perspective. And as I look at this card, I always think that, yes, it's okay to grieve. It's okay to feel loss. It's okay to feel that sadness or depression or whatever it may be. But the danger is, is when you extend that feeling, when you let it go on too long, then it's not going to help you. It's not going to help you grow. It's not going to help you uh, allow yourself to be introduced to new experiences. And, you know, you're going to be stuck. And it's like this limbo of, of a flat place, a feeling flat. So if if you can uh, you know, just acknowledge that yes, there's been a disappointment, there's something that has not worked out the way that you've wanted it to. And if you can say, yep, I feel this way, but I'm gonna have to work on pushing it aside and moving forward and turning myself around and focusing on what I do have, that's, uh, how we bring a five of cups into a better place versus being trapped by a sense of, of maybe failure, of the not getting really what you had hoped for. So here, the gentle page of cups is like saying, hey, look, I have this cup here for you. I have a fish in this cup for you. And it's a message, it's an offering, it's this youthful, wonderful um, presentation of an emotional experience. And so, you know, this means that if you're able to turn around, if you're able to put disappointment and sadness uh, behind you, then you can have access to these enriching, fun, emotionally warm and sensitive relationships it could be deep friendships it could be romantic uh, you know you put yourself in a position to have that and again it's when people see others and they see the look in your eyes and they see the energy and the and the hope of making a connection versus someone who is unavailable and who is shut down in their own way you know it's it's hard to find the emotional experiences if you're single and if you're if you're looking it's hard to meet people who are uh, available if you're not you know if you're unable to let go so the page brings it can bring he can bring news he can bring an offering of this wonderful emotional relationship. He can also bring this sense of inspiration and creativity. It's what the fish is. It's about stirring your creative soul and creating perhaps uh, a union or something new that's going to bring you emotional satisfaction. And as you look at the Ace of Swords here, you see the power of the 
sword. You see the radiance of, of the sword and the steel and the hand here piercing this crown. And this is saying, listen, friend, you have to adopt a new way of thinking. You have to, uh, you have to put things in perspective. You have to use your reason, your logic, your analysis to be able to ride you through whatever it is that has been keeping you in a, perhaps in a place where you're unable to let things go. And the sword says, new thinking, have a new approach, take a new approach, be smart and be wise. And when you are able to use this ace of swords, which is this objective, uh, piercing this clear sense of the clarity that comes from the ace of swords, it's going to drive you in a place to enrich your emotional life and to allow you to, to bring it into your life, as well as perhaps to give it back. So, you know, I, I love seeing the Ace of Swords because it is about, uh, it's like your mind snaps to attention. So all of a sudden, it's like the lightning bolt that flashes through like, hmm, if I approach it this way, I might have a different outcome. If I change my thinking, if I can uh, table my emotions for a bit and focus on the situation and all sides of the situation. So when I look at this, it's an interesting spread because it, it can be and it, it is about perspective. And it is about that, yes, we feel the sadness, we feel disappointment in life but it's what, what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna let it derail you from emotional relationships or experiences or friendships or bonds or fun? Or are you gonna say, yeah, this really stinks, but I still have two cups. I have some options over here. And man, I got my, I got my smarts back. You know, I'm, I'm using my head again. And I'm thinking and I'm going to visualize and create and build whatever it is that I want. If I want a loving long-term relationship, I'm going to visualize it and make that smart plan to get it. If I want a different career or whatever it may be, the Ace of Swords is there to inspire you. And again, Aces are gifts or blessings from the universe. So take advantage of it use that energy. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have um, five, six, seven. Seven is about discovery. It's about knowledge, about using your head, your mind. It's reflecting. Uh, and sometimes I, I think it's about gaining the wisdom that we need in life. And to close this reading, I'm going to choose an oracle card. Intention, which is a great card because I think that setting your intention with the Ace of Swords driving you behind, uh, the intention of how it is that you want to live. How do you want to live? Be specific. Create it. If you need to make a vision board, if you need to print out pictures and put them uh, or maybe you know, on your desktop wallpaper to look at, something to keep very fresh in your mind what it is that you want, that you see, that you want to bring into your life. And that's setting the intention. I also think that setting the intention is to be grateful and to show gratitude for what you do have and focusing on the plenty within your life instead of the lack. So I think this is a, I think it's a really nice spread for Thursday. And so I hope that you found something helpful here today. And I hope I wasn't too distracted. My kitten 
who has been a little shy about coming downstairs where I do this, uh, has come downstairs and has been running all around. So I've been <laughs> been back and forth in my head, but that's, that's a good step. So I hope that you'll subscribe if you're new to the channel. I thank you for your time and watching and come back again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading. Thanks. Bye-bye.